In this demo, we are going to see how we can use an Arduino to control a fan that has an oscillation mode using Simulink. Here's a quick clip of the demo in action. The potentiometer controls the fan speed, and the two push buttons control whether or not the fan is on or off, and whether or not it's in oscillation mode. In terms of software, we're going to need MATLAB, Simulink, and the Simulink support package for Arduino. In terms of hardware, we're going to need an Arduino Mega, a servo motor, a coreless motor, a USB A to B cable, and all the other hardware components listed on the slide. If you do not already have the Simulink support package for Arduino, you can get to it by going to Add-ons and going to Get Hardware Support Packages. Here's a circuit schematic for our fan setup. Analog pin 8 is connected to the output pin of the potentiometer. Two LEDs and two push buttons are connected to digital pins on the Arduino with pull-down resistors. PWM pin 9 is connected to the signal pin of the servo motor. 5 volts is connected to the power pin of the servo. And ground is connected to the ground pin of the servo. PWM pin 8 is connected to the gate of the MOSFET along with a 1K resistor. The source of the MOSFET goes to ground and the coreless motor's negative terminal should be connected to the drain of the MOSFET. The coreless motor's positive terminal should be connected to the 5 volt supply. Here's the Simulink model for the fan. All of the input and output pins that we use on the Arduino are going to correspond to input and output variables of the state flow chart seen in the center of the screen. State flow is an environment within Simulink that helps us model and simulate decision-based logic systems. Let's see what's going on in the chart. There are two main modes within this chart. The first one is fanning mode, and this determines whether or not the fan is on or off. And the way it does this is it starts with the fan being off, and whenever the push button is pressed, it will turn on the fan and it will set the speed to the speed determined by the potentiometer. And then in order to turn it off again, you press the button and it will return to the resting state. Oscillation mode determines whether or not the fan will rotate on its servo motor. It starts in a resting position, and then when the button for oscillation mode is pressed while the fan is on, the fan will begin to rotate in a counterclockwise direction until it reaches a certain point. Once it reaches this point, it will begin to rotate in the opposite direction until it hits the starting point, and it will continue to repeat itself while the oscillation mode is on. In order to turn it off, you press the button again or you turn off the fan and then it'll return to its resting state. Now that we have an idea of how this model is going to work, what we're going to do is we're going to try running it on our actual hardware. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the top and we're going to select external mode. What external mode means is Simulink is going to generate code that will be run on the Arduino. But at the same time, we're going to be able to monitor the system as it operates and we're going to be able to tune these parameters if we need to. One thing to note is the INF right next to the mode, and what this stands for is infinite, and that just means that the model will run for an infinite period of time. You can change this if you need it for a different application. So why don't we go ahead and press play. Now that we're running our model in external mode, you're going to notice that some of the states in the state flow chart are highlighted. And this is one of the cool features of the Simulink support package in that when you run an external mode, you can see your system as it moves through the states within your chart, so you can tell if anything goes wrong and where it happens. As you can see, as I press these buttons, it's going to change the states, and it operates just as it needs to, and the same goes for the oscillation mode as well. Now that we know our model works and we no longer want to tune the system, what we can do is we can deploy it to hardware. What this is going to do is it's going to generate code that will be put onto the Arduino just as it did in external mode. However, the main difference is that we can run it without a computer and without Simulink. All we need is a power supply and the fan will run just as it did when it was connected to Simulink. And just like that, with a battery in the Arduino, we can have an oscillating fan. Thanks for watching.